Hi, it's Tess and I'm here to film my May favorites. I tried to film this once and my phone ran out of memory, so I have to do it all over again. So, luckily for me, I have the swatches already on my hand. So, again, I'm going to start with the nail polish. I got the LA Color Pop Nail Polish in Extra Extra. It's just like a... It's like glitter and white, pink, blue flecks. It's so pretty on your nails. The only thing about it is it's really, really hard to get off. Really hard to get off. But other than that, if that doesn't bother you to chisel away at it for 15-20 minutes, you're good. Next I have the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, and this is in the color Hot Tamale. It looks like this. I found the key to wearing this is to put it on right after you apply your foundation. I kind of dab it on like this because I see, I think Samantha Sherman do that. And then I take a stippling brush and just brush it in. I have it on today, and I have it swatched here if you can see it. But I have it on my cheeks too. Then the eyeshadow I have is Amber Rush, which I've showed 16,000 times, I'm sure. But it's still a favorite. It continues to be a favorite. It's just an awesome eyeshadow. It's just so pigmented and gorgeous. And it looks like this. It's just a beautiful rose, rose gold. It's stunning. Great all over the lid. It's an easy peasy eyeshadow. And the lipstick I have is L'Oreal in Fairest Nude. This has been around a long time. It's just a really pretty nude with like a brown tint that does not look like you have concealer on, which is one of the reasons I really like it. Eyebrow pencil that I got from last month's Ipsy bag. It's from Chella. It is in Tantalizing Taupe. I don't know where you can buy this, but I know that you can buy it from Ipsy. And it's really skinny. And it goes on really, really good. I really like that. I have that on today as well. Then I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Which I, once the weather gets warmer, I pull this out. I'm in light, by the way. And it's just my go-to. I want to wear it all the time. It just makes your skin feel, look, and great. And I have it on today. So there's that. And then there's a new mascara out by L'Oreal. It's called Voluminous Miss Manga Rock. Which I heard such bad reviews about the original Miss Manga that I never bought it. But this one is really, really good. I'm not even sure why I like it because I hate plastic bristle brushes. But surprisingly, this is a good one. So I don't know what makes it good, but I like it. Then I have two perfumes. One is also from the Ipsy bag from last month. It's called Sophisticated and Sensual, which is just like a little roller ball. So I went online to look this up. It's called MyAromaCology.com. And I thought, oh, I'll buy a bigger roller ball of this because it smells so good. It's kind of like, I don't have a very good sniffer. You all know that. It's like a floral sweet scent. 60 bucks? No thanks. No thanks. Um, I also have Rapture, which is hands down my favorite perfume from Victoria's Secret. I love this perfume. It has that bergamot scent. It's just, this is probably my signature scent. I just love this perfume, and I'm pretty sure it's around 35 bucks. And then I got the Degree Dry Spray Sheer Powder Deodorant. My friend Deanna is always talking about spray deodorants, and then we finally started getting spray deodorants here, and I thought, I'm going to try one of these. While it is great... You literally, if you're in the bathroom, you have to hold your breath, spray your arms, and then run out of the room and then breathe because it gets like in your throat and gags you. It's so powerful and so strong. So as long as you can hold your breath for a couple seconds so you get those pities all deodorized, you're good to go. Okay. I haven't posted the video of me applying this yet, but this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage um, foundation. And let's just say... This was an epic fail, and I think I'm going to try to post the video of that before I post the video of this. If I don't, that's okay. But yeah, hated this foundation. And people were like, love it, and I'm not sure why. It was a disaster. That was awful. Okay, two clothing items, and then one other thing. Well, one other group of things, and then that's it. For summer, I love Palazzo Pants. 
And every year, I think I fall in love with them more and more. I mean, I love a good maxi skirt. I don't wear shorts. If anybody of you are interested, I just don't wear them. I don't like them. Um, Palazzo pants are where it's at for me. And I got this pair from Walmart. They're so cute. Love them. Fun color. I just got them last week. So I just grabbed a pair of Palazzo pants. These ones were the ones that were closest to me. So those are the ones I grabbed. And then I got this pair from Walmart two days ago. And they're so cute. They look like a bandana. Oh, I love them. So we're going to see Weird Al Yankovic tomorrow night. And I'm wearing those ones I just showed you to the concert. Because that's how it is. And then, last but not least, I want to talk a little bit about my newest obsession and craze. Which are planners, journals. This is my, well, my little tassel. It's hiding. This is my plum planner. It is so stinking cute. You know, I just realized I don't think I've ever done a flip through of this, but I did a flip through of my Midori's. I'll have to do a flip through of this soon. Um, maybe after I uncoil. I'm waiting for a three, a six ring binder to come from Marion Smith Designs, and then I'm going to try uncoiling this and punching it and sticking it in there. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. But yeah, I will do a flip through of that before I uncoil, I think. And these are my faux dories. This is my homemade faux dory. And I have to show you, I did a flip through of this, but I did add something recently, like last night. I made, I'm doing the creative planner workshop, and I made a dashboard. Thank you, Christy. Um, so I made that in that one. But yeah, this is my homemade faux dory. And you can look on my YouTube page for a flip through of that. This is a Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook, and I got this on the clearance sale. I also recently did a flip through of this, but I wanted to show you my dashboard I made in this one, thanks to Christy and Corey also. Button back there. Love that. And these are just ones that, let me pull it out. They go around your Traveler's Notebook. And last but not least, this is another Foxy Fix in the pocket size. This one was a wide, and the one I made was a regular. So the pocket size just fits in my purse, and I did a video on this as well. So you can search for that in my YouTube channel. All right, that is everything for the month of May. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.